All right, so I'm gonna explain to you real quick how the trail line usually sets up. All right, so on one end of it, I have a 25 pound weight. I bought this line. I bought this line completely set up about 10 years ago, maybe. This line is held up really good. I paid about $325. That's for the weight, buoy, line, snoods, and I think even a dipper. We got some spool kids over there. Um, that, <laughs> we bought the, 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 the buoys, weight, line, everything with a dipper um, and everything for $325. That was about 10 years ago. So obviously I think it's gonna be more money. So this is kind of how the trout line is. If you've never seen one, um, you're gonna have your weight and I got about 40 foot of line that's gonna come out. I need to get to the other end because I gotta tie the weight back on there. It'll come up to your buoy, and then we'll have about another another 44 foot uh, 40 foot line. I need to get to the other end because that's the end that's cut, and that will come to your chain. This chain here actually hooks to your your trout line where all your bait's on it, and this is what actually holds it on the ground. So it'll go up to the buoy, then this will come down and hold the line on the bottom, all right? And then once you get to the end of your line, this end, and you're just going backwards the same way. You're gonna, this is gonna be the beginning of the line, 40 foot. And like I say, you just throw it in there. There's no need to be being all fancy with circles and ropes. No need to be fancy. This might have came out of one of the uh, traps. Yeah. He's actually got it. Boy, he's got that. He's got all kinds of stuff on there. Look at that. All right. So all I'm going to have to do. See, this is about. This is where I had to cut it off because of the first time we went trout lining. Because of the miscommunication of the wife and me. We don't know why the communication was rough, so I'm just going to tie it up again, and um, that's it. So that's what it is: weight to the buoy to chain. So you got weight 40 foot, buoy about 40 foot, and that's why when we go crabbing, when we go crabbing this week, they're up, they're up there. When we go crabbing this week, that's why we can get into 25. We could probably push it into 30 foot, but we can get anywhere from. 15 i think we'll probably be good around 15 maybe 20 but but we can get pretty deep water that's why we're going to take the trout line all right i'll see you all right that's it